Okay, this isn't glass beads, but this is an incredible tour that we did of a glass blowing factory, and they make all of these different types of glass products, so I hope you enjoy. I'm so excited to show you how they make these glass vessels. Uh, this was a production glass factory that we went to in Yeblinek, and they work in teams of three to four people, and you can see how many furnaces they have going at one time. And these are glass blowers who are blowing all different types of glass. They're blowing goblets and vases and different types of things. These furnaces are going constantly, and um, these guys are just working day and night with this. And what's interesting is look at their footwear. So this guy's got his Birkenstocks on. Everybody has Birkenstocks on. I would think it would be a safety hazard, but apparently it's not um, when they're working with this hot glass. And I don't know if, see, here's another guy with his Birkenstocks on. But um, this process is a, is a team process and each person has their function and they all work together. So this guy um, had his ball of glass. He put it down into a mold in order to shape the glass and blow the glass. This guy is gonna add more pieces onto the glass before it gets sent down the pipeline. So this glass company makes uh, glass and crystal um, and it gets shipped all over the world. And then once they're done, this lady is one of many who is gonna put it on a conveyor belt and it's gonna be carried across the factory area to another furnace where it will be finished. And I'll show you how the finishing process gets done in a few minutes, but it takes the long road around until it gets to this lovely woman who is going to take it and put it in its next stage. So here they're adding the bottom to it. I thought this was kind of fun. And this beer is one of the secrets to their success. So the employees are required to drink a lot of liquids during the day and the company supplies them with four glasses of beer or actually as much beer as they want during the day to make sure that they stay well hydrated and the beer is Pilsner light but it is specially formulated with nutrients and things so that they're depleting bodies with all the sweat that they're putting out during the day are not going to lessen their energy levels or anything like that because this is a pretty highly uh, physical job. So you can see he's blowing the glass and then he's going to hand it off to the guy that does the stemware who is sitting right next to him. And again, this is Teamworks. She's handing him a new one. He's putting it with this guy. This is another glass blowing. She's going to put that onto uh, the conveyor belt where it's going to be taken down. And this is where it goes to the final face. So this lady is taking all of the glass and putting it in the furnace picking it up. She's got her Birkenstocks on as well. I think it might be standard. Maybe they're issued by the company. I'm not sure. But uh, they have these really great furnaces where the products go in to be finished off. And um, I'm not exactly sure what that finishing off is. Um, but this can you imagine the arm strength in this to just be carrying these glass vessels all day long? Look at their all different shapes, sizes, colors, different types of vessels, and all day. I'm gonna step on this. I'm gonna tap this glass. I'm gonna put this in the furnace. Oh, wait, that one doesn't go there. Well, we need to do another step. This one apparently needs a pillow. So they're gonna get this fireproof material, put it on there, and look, this lady has her Birkenstocks on as well. So the company is not hurting their feet. It's come from Bohemia's Paradise. It's area 40 kilometers from Harakov, if you go uh, to Prague. And these are the wooden molds from Oakwood, and the molds are only for two or three days because the glass is so hot that it's still burning. And after a few days, we get every glass other size. So we have a special group here for the new wooden molds uh, and they are making the molds every day. Wow. And we have got also the uh, 
mold for the stem because everything has to be the same. Wow. And for the base, we use cherry or pear wood. And they have to turn with the pipe all the time because the glass is so hot that it's still burning. And after a few days, we get uh, every glass at the size. Wow. Uh, and every glass has got a cap. And this cap, we have to cut out after the cooling down process with a special machine. The cap you can melt again, so we use it for another glass. And this rim is very sharp, so we have to cut it, melt it, and then is it ready for the customer. And we are cutting also the chandelier. So first we have got a black glass and a map. And we have to draw a net, and then we know where on which place we have to cut it, and everything is the same. And we use carbon or nature stones for cutting. Cutting room is since 1895, and it's very old transmission system with water tube, and that's why all the wheels are still turning. Earlier times there were 40 people working, now only three men. We are cutting not so much, they're cutting glass. It's also uh, a bit old fashioned, and the lead crystal is already also forbidden from the European Union, so that's also why we are cutting not so much, like for example, 40, uh, 50 years ago. But you will see the cutting room. Now, and every glass factory is making something different, something special. And in Harakov, we are making, for example, knots on the glass. A 300 years anniversary, we made the glass with three knots, like 300 years, and the glass you can see in our glass museum. This is a crown because crown is logo of the glass factory, and we are producing more than 2,000 different types of glass with 30 different colors and 12 different sizes. We made also the glass for the first Czech president in the year 1918 with an air bubble inside. And all the design is still different and he is 100 years different between these two glasses in design. Mm -hmm. wow. So this is a new one. This was made for the Škoda Auto, for the, for the um, business car. Mm -hmm. now, and now we are going to the cutting room. The cutting room is uh, 1895, since 1895. It's a very old transmission <coughs> system with water turbine, that's why all the wheels are still Turning and uh, you can go. I hope you will like it. Mm -hmm. uh, the mold has got a spiker ah. inside, ah. and you uh, close the glass into the mold with the spikers. Wow! And then you get it. Yes. Yeah. And then you give other glass over other colors, for example. Yeah. yeah. And it stays inside. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Clear. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This section is a little harder to see, but this is the finishing room where they cut, the glass has already been cut and now they're polishing it so that it can go to the public and be sold. And it's just hard to get an angle, but you can see what a completely manual process this entire thing is. I really have an incredible appreciation now for all of my glasswork. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I did making it.